In December 2018, Cincinnati firefighter says she was still in the midst of the hiring process and hadn't received an official offer. And the lieutenant in charge of recruiting invited her to his house to play pool. In this federal lawsuit, she says she was raped by that lieutenant while she was at his house. It says she was then accepted into the city's recruit class in February of 2019. Years later, in June 2021, the woman claims a Cincinnati firefighter not named as the defendant in the suit made sexually harassing comments, including statements that there wasn't a place for women in the workplace. The woman says she reported him but was never told the results of the internal investigation. A little over a year later, she says that a firefighter who is named as a defendant in the suit asked her for a ride to his car after a party with other Cincinnati Fire employees. That's when she says the firefighter sexually assaulted and attempted to rape her. In October 2022, the suit says she reported both the lieutenant and the firefighter for past conduct, and both were placed on paid administrative leave during the investigation. During the city's investigation, another fire employee allegedly told the lieutenant in question that the charges against him would be substantiated. She said the city would recommend termination. That lieutenant then retired, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit says the city knew of the fire department's boys club mentality, but quote, accepted and approved such conduct for years, leading to plaintiff's rape, assault, harassment, and severe emotional distress. A city of Cincinnati spokesperson said they had no comment regarding this pending litigation, but in a statement said, quote, the health and safety of all employees is of the utmost importance to the city manager, as evidenced throughout her 18 months leading the city. Anytime issues are brought to her attention, she has acted to ensure accountability. The lawsuit says the city didn't substantiate the woman's claims against the firefighter she says sexually assaulted her, and he continued working. This filing comes almost a year since Cincinnati Fire Chief Michael Washington was fired. The city manager's office said under Washington, multiple female fire department employees voiced concerns that women were being treated unfairly and with disrespect. He's not named in this lawsuit. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.